Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you all doing? Well, we made it to 2022. Happy New Year. I think I think every year it's a competition between the fireworks manufacturers to see just how much more powerful they can make their stuff without calling it a bomb. I was up all the night last night, so we're a little late today getting morning prayer out. Otherwise, I would have done it at 1.30 this morning. But um, And I considered it. But I don't think I was in enough good enough shape to be able to do it. So we'll do it now. Uh, this morning I'm not going to offer any scripture. I'm just going to offer some thoughts and then prayer. Because you see this picture here. And I picked this picture for a reason. You notice this pretty healthy wave coming in. You know, First a little wash coming up. A wake and then a wave behind it. And... You know, if you lived on a coast, you understand, you watch the water a little bit, you get some thoughts on life, and even just the waves can give you thoughts on life. You know, no wave comes in by itself. A wave always comes in bringing something with it. Seaweed, debris, driftwood, something, whatever it is, uh, more sand, it'll drag more sand in with it. Waves always come in and bring something with them. And right before the wave... Is always the wake. It's always the, is, you know, because we use what's called wakeboards. And so in the wake of the wave, we will we'll use the wakeboard to skimboard across the top of the water. It always brings that disturbance with it, that white foam, that turbulent water, then the impact. And, you know, we've been watching that wave, that, that wake coming in for a couple of years now. All that white water, all that turbulence has been coming in. <coughs> Is this the year the wave hits? Is this the year the wave comes in and brings all the tribulation with it? I think so. We're certainly seeing it come. We're certainly watching it. You know, this is going to be the year of a increased hatred to Christians. You know, and that's going to sound like bad news at first. But when we read the scripture, we know that's supposed to happen. This is going to be the year where everybody's going to look at the believer and they're going to say, Ha! You guys were wrong. The rapture didn't happen. Your religion is fake. Jesus is fake. You can't believe in nothing that you guys uh, profess. And this is the year you're going to have to hold your ground. This is the year you're going to have to separate yourself from those people who have made those claims and have been wrong, who have become false prophets and shown themselves to be false prophets. And have caused the world, because they have the loudest voice right now, caused the world to look down on us. You're going to have to be the one that sets the example. You're going to have to be the true Christian that they've never met. The one that says, I never made those claims. Who'd you hear that from? Oh, there was some guy on TV. Give me the name. I might know him. Oh, it's this megachurch preacher. Now, there's your first problem. You listen to a megachurch preacher. You need to read the Word of God. Don't listen to preachers. You need to read the Bible and what it has to say, because the Bible doesn't say when the day is. And I've never said that. So you take your misplaced hatred and you go put it on that megachurch preacher. Don't put it off on me. Those people who made those professions about 2021, and there were a lot of them, and every one of them is wrong. Every one of them. And the people still listen to them. When they start running their mouth, you've got to shut them off. You've got to shut them down. You've got to put your foot down, draw your line in the sand and say, nope, not happening. You're not crossing this line. I've been doing it for a couple of years now, three years. I've had to kick people off my channel because they were following that stuff and trying to get me to do it. Trying to get me to pro profess the stuff they were professing. They're wrong. They're liars. And every single time I prove them to be, and those people still listen to those people. It's not watching for Jesus. In 2022, let us watch him in prayer. Let us watch him in, for him in spirit. Let us watch for him in faith, not going to the next date on the calendar. They're going to proclaim May 14th again. They're going to proclaim September, October again. They're going to proclaim July again. They're going to proclaim a bunch of different days again. All, uh, April, they're going to put April up there again. Write this down. Mark my words. It's going to happen. They're going to do the same dates all over again, just like they did in 2019. And more and more and more people are going to be pushed away from him instead of being brought to him. 
And it is a travesty that we can't reach these people. We can't get them to see the truth that what they're doing is destructive, not constructive. This is the year your faith is really going to be tested. You didn't think it was tested before? This is the year you're going to find out who your real friends are. This is the year you're going to find out who your family is. This is the year you're going to find out who really believes and who's really on your side because this is going to be the year of testing. This is the year the temple's going to be built. Don't ask me how I know. Just watch. It's going to be a year of war. A lot of it. Ephesians 6 is going to come into big play in your life this year. Now, those all sound like negatives. I'm presenting them in a truthful manner because some aspects of them are negative, but they're not negatives, they're positives. Because if we know these things and we can go to the Word and find those specific things spoken of in there and the timing they relate to, that also tells us the timing of the Lord's return for us. And we know we're in the last two years. We're in the final little gap of time when everything is going to be fulfilled. And that final time of the wrath of God is going to be poured out. This is going to be a year of chastisement for a lot of people, but the light is going to turn on for them. So it's good. This is going to be a year of knowing who's who in the world today, who's who in your friends network, who's who in your family. But it will be a blessing to you <coughs> because your life is going to get more peaceful quieter. This is going to be a year of providence for people where the Lord is going to bring many out of darkness into his marvelous light and into his providence. This is going to be the year that he's going to separate you out in a way so amazing and miraculous that you probably won't even see it until after it happens. And you'll realize, glory to God, he's, he's saving me. Twenty twenty one was the year of big changes. We saw incredible things. Everything done by Trump in four years was undone by Biden in 10 months. And it wasn't even really Biden. It was the people that are really running the show. He's because he clearly can't run anything. Well, 2022 is going to be the year that the repercussions from that is going to happen. 2022 is going to be the massive year of change around the world. 2022 is going to be the year that we're going to see the real ramifications of what's happened because of COVID. And not even really because of COVID, but because of the powers that be trying to inflict their rule on us. 2022 is going to be the year we're going to see the real result of what they've been pumping into people. Now that part's not going to be very good. 2022 on the outside is going to look like a scary year. But for those that believe... For those that know the truth, for those that are reading the word and standing in faith, 2022 is going to be a year of eye-opening. It's going to be a year of revealing. It's going to be a year of solidifying where you stand. Are you with him or are you with the world? Are you with Christ or are you with your friends and family? Are you with the word or are you with the world? I've already started to see this happen. 2022 is going to be the year that the way is proclaimed. That terminology from 2,000 years ago is going to resurface. I've already started to see it happen. And they're going to be calling us the people of the way again, or some version of that. You'll hear this uh, spoken of by people in your presence. A brand new resurgence of mockery for the rapture is going to happen this year. And it will be n way worse than what it was in 2019. But the blessing is going to be those who stood the test, those who stood in faith, those who didn't get involved in that stuff and stayed away from it. Those who stood on truth are going to shine above the others because the others are going to back down. The others are going to realize they made a mistake and they're not going to step up and own up to it. They're going to try to hide. And you will be one of the ones that stands up and looks all them all right back in the eye and tells them, 
Don't get mad at me because you were wrong. Don't get mad at me because somebody else was wrong. Read the Bible for yourself. Prove it to yourself. Prove everyone else wrong. I dare you. This is going to be the year that you're going to become very different. But it'll be a good thing because you're going to realize what the real truth is in your life, what he's doing in your life, and you're going to make that choice like Jeremiah did. You're going to be in the middle of everything and then you're going to go, you know what? These people deserve this. Lord, we, we deserve what you want, what your wrath is. We deserve what, you, what you're proclaiming. Bring it. I'm choosing your side. We deserve what's coming. I choose your side. And this is going to be a great year of falling away. This is going to be the year a lot of people are going to just give up. A lot of people are going to say enough is enough because of all the quote-unquote rapture stuff that's been being pushed around. Because people didn't read the word and, and profess it factually. This is going to be the year people are going to fall away or walk away or run away because of once saved, always saved. And not because of the doctrine, but because the doctrine was improperly preached. Because people didn't relate it to what the Bible says, eternal security. Because people didn't explain it the right way. Because they didn't take the time to show the people the scripture that says, this is what it really is. This is what it means. This is the liberty. Many are going to walk away because they're going to say, I never should have gotten involved with these people because we've now proven that it is all false. 2022 is going to be the year the aliens are going to come. Twenty twenty two is going to be very, very, very vividly, vividly. Um, so what I'm looking for, revealing year. Because not only are things going to be revealed in the world, not only are truths and facts going to be revealed. A lot of people are going to jail in twenty twenty two. A lot of very well to do people, very well known people, are going to go to jail in twenty twenty two. For things that they've done wrong that have never been caught on. And they're going to get caught this year. We're going to see a major shakeup in politics. I dare say we may see the country do something much different than what it is now. We may, may see America break apart this year. I don't know for sure on that one. But the signs are already there. Twenty twenty two is gonna be the year those who are believers will be believers, and those who never were are going to show their true intentions and their true desires and what their true into, uh, will was concerning those things. Twenty twenty year twenty two is gonna be the year of apostasy. That is unfortunate, but it's supposed to happen. Twenty twenty two is the year we'll see the full revelation of God. In your heart, in your eyes, in your mind, you will see the full revelation of Him through His Word. You will see it in the world around you. Much is going to be revealed in twenty twenty two, biblically, spiritually, and worldly. So this is going to be a banner year. And every bit of it will prove God's word true because He's going to continue to bring more to the to light. Keep an eye out. This just might be the year they bring out the Ten Commandments. They have them. This just might be the year they show the world. Because they're only going to do it if the temple gets built. This most likely will be the year they build it. Don't be surprised if you see it. Don't be surprised if your eyes witness the single greatest turning point in everything in history. And that'll be when that temple starts to be built. Because if that's the case, you know this is it. Final done. That's it. You know. And it's just a matter of looking up. This is going to be a weird year. We, we thought they were weird from 2019 on up to this point. This one's really going to be weird. And we're going to be seeing some celestial things that are going to blow everybody away. Things we never even thought we would see. A bunch of information is going to come out in this year. Revealing 
some pretty terrifying stuff that people didn't know. And a lot of lies are going to come out this year. A whole lot of them. This is the year you're going to have to decide what you want to believe. Do you want to believe God? Do you want to believe his word? Or do you want to believe lies? And we're all going to have to stand at that station in the terminal and make the decision. And that will decide which way we go. So this year, as now that we're walking into this new year, look at everything as a decision. What's the right and wrong thing to do here? What decision am I going to make? Analyze everything. Be critical of everything. Not the negative critical, the positive critical. Examine yourselves. Examine the world. Examine your family and friends. Examine the word of God. Examine everything. Find out what is true and hold it to that truth. Because that is what's going to get you through everything. And they're going to make fun of you. They're going to mock you. They're going to laugh at you. But that's when you just sit back and smile. When they say, what are you smiling for? We're, we're, we're making fun of you. Because the Bible told me this is what was going to happen. And that alone, what you're doing right here is the proof that I see showing me that this word is true. Because a Bible written thousands of years ago by 40 different men on six different continents is telling me more truth than I can get anywhere in this world. Because you, by your actions, are revealing it to me. That's how I know it's real. And that's why I believe it. So keep laughing, keep mocking, keep making fun. That's okay. I don't have any ill will towards you and I forgive you. I'm not going to hold it against you because the Bible said you were going to do it. But the revealing of the truth will come to you soon enough. And when you see it, you're going to remember. And then you're going to get saved because the seeds I plant now will grow in that, in that time frame. And brothers and sisters, that time frame is very quickly approaching. Let us open this new year with prayer and let us glorify God. Let us ask him for the good things that we need, especially for this year. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to give you praise, honor, and glory. To lift you up and sing praises unto your holy name. To glorify you, to worship you, to honor you in the face of others and in our hearts and in our lives and in every aspect of everything. Make us to look and see for your face first on everything. Make us to think about and make a decision for you in everything. Make us to look more towards your will. If your will be done, that is what I'll do. If you decide this is what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. If you decide this is what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. Father, I pray you chastise us this year. All of us who have gone astray, all of us who make mistakes, which is all of us. But I pray you chastise us in your mercy, not in your wrath. Correct us, because when we walk correctly, we walk according to your will. When we answer and receive this correction, I pray you make us to do so, to see what we're being corrected on, to understand what needs to change. And so we do this according to your will, according to your word. I pray this year we spend more time in your word, because that is the catalyst for change, knowing the truth. And I pray that we choose the truth in everything in this year. I pray that for the true believer this year, your word becomes the pillar that we hang on to, the, the mast that we lash ourselves to in the storm, the, the, the rowboat in the flood, the cornerstone of the foundation of the house of faith we're building. I pray that we make this word that you have given us the rock that everything else is built on. And we know that this word and that rock is Jesus Christ. I pray that we look to him for more than what we looked for him previously. I pray we spend more time. I ask that we spend more time looking into your truths. As it pertains to our lives, what do you have for us? What are you looking at and what is your will for each of us in our individual lives and in our individual ministries? Because we all have some form of ministry somewhere. And I pray you reveal that to us. Reveal these truths to us. Reveal yourself to us so that we know the truth and walk in confidence. Make us to walk confidence and speak boldly about your word. Make us to stand as a pillar of light in the truth. So when they come and they make fun because of all the people that misrepresented you, we stand as a beacon of truth. We give them the word. We tell them in confidence, no, no, this is what the truth is. 
I pray that for those of us who are stuck in situations, Lord, I pray that you bring us through these situations. Don't save us from them. Bring us through them so we become better, so we're prepared for heaven. I pray that you help us to watch properly and to keep watching properly. And to not be led astray, to not be drawn off into other doctrines and drawn off into other beliefs. Because this is the year that all these weird things are really going to get bad. This is the year all the weird doctrines are going to get bad. This, this is the year they're going to bring out some of the great deceptions. I'm going to lie. And it's really going to be bad. A lot of people are going to fall away. I mean, you've put this on my heart. This is the year a lot of the falling away is going to happen. Lord, let us not be those people. And instead, let us try to grab them and save them and pull them back into the light and hold on to them and keep them in the truth. Father, make this the year that we bless you and praise you and glorify you in everything possible. Make this the year that we our eyes are open fully, our hearts are open fully, our minds are open fully. Make this the year that we worship you like we've never worshipped you before and that we consider you in all the things that we do. We consider you in every action and activity. We consider you in every decision, every move that we make. Make this the year, according to your will, Father, that we realize the true liberty that we have in Christ Jesus and realize the true control you have over everything in Christ Jesus and the true mercy and love shed in our hearts I pray this year this is manifested in us to others. Strengthen us. Build us up. Make us to do your will. Make this that, well, it may not be the last one, but make this that, that last push that we get the truth out there. That people will listen. Those that are going to be saved, those that are yours, will listen to those preaching. To bring the truth in. Make this the year that Jesus Christ is proclaimed more than ever because what I see is I see a whole lot of anti-Christ being preached. Make this the year we preach the true, the real, the one and only Jesus Christ, the one who died for us on the cross, the one who shed his blood to pay the debt we owed for our sin, the one that you bruised and beaten, the one that you presented in our place so that we may have his righteousness imputed unto us. The Jesus that walked this earth 2,000 years ago as a man, but is coming back to walk this earth 2,000 years later as a God, as our King, as our leader and ruler. And make us to watch for him because we know that our deliverance is nigh unto us because what your word said rings very true. And I pray that this year, 2022, that we realize this more than we ever have so that faith will grow, so that mercy will grow, so that love will grow. So that these things will abound more and more. And I pray your grace abounds more and more. And all these things, Father, let not our will be done, but let your will be done. Because your will is perfect and right and true. And if there's anything that I forgot, Lord, I pray the Holy Spirit speaks it for me. We love you, Father. We're so happy and so thankful you have called us into your family. We pray that you open us up to more truth this year. Reveal more to us in your word this year. Prepare us for that final moment. Prepare us for that harpazo. Prepare us for what's coming. And while we're still here, make, make us to be ready at all times. And make us to be in the truth at all times. <coughs> Thank you, Father, for your mercy and grace. Thank you for your great love. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for keeping us in the light. I pray this year the light gets brighter than it ever has. Like it already has been. In Jesus' name, we bless you and praise you, honor you and glorify you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for daily prayer. This year, and you know what? Everything that I said, I could be completely wrong. But this year is going to be a really eye-opening year for everybody. We've had, since 2019, a lot of eye-opening things happen. But I, I believe this is the year it's really going to open up for everybody. And it is going to be something that is going to take everybody off guard. What a perfect time for the Lord to return. Will he return this year? 
I don't know, but I know a lot of people are going to say he is, just like they did last year, just like they did in 2020, just like they did in 2019, just like they did in 2018, all the way back to 1988, all the way back even further. But see, the one thing they didn't have back then that we have now is the Word of God being revealed before our very eyes, talking about those exact things that would be present when he did return. And they're here vividly, in living color, clearly, vibrantly, they're here. Keep your eyes on the prize, which is him. Keep your eyes open, your minds open, your hearts open to receive him, to receive the truth, to receive enlightenment. Let him work in your hearts and in your lives. Let his will be done. Pray for his will to be done, because his will, on the outside, most people who don't know the truth, see it and don't believe that that's the right thing, but you know that differently, and you know that his will is the best thing for you. Because what he decides for you will ultimately lead to the best things you could possibly imagine. And though this year may look like it's getting darker to everyone else, this will be the year that it gets brighter, because the truth will be revealed far more intently than it has before. And that is why I say this is the year the great apostasy will unfold greater than it ever has been because that truth will cause people to say, nope, that's not what I want, and they're going to walk away. Keep watching. <clears throat> Don't forget to live your life. Don't forget to keep doing the things that you're, you, you have to do. Don't forget to keep mowing the grass and buying furniture and, and loving and caring and eating and drinking and doing all the things that you have to do in your life. But the one thing you don't ever want to forget is in the process of doing all those things, don't forget God. Make him a part of everything you do. Because when you make him a part of everything you do, he blesses everything you do. Remember him in all those things. And he will remember you. Proclaim him before men, and he will proclaim you before the Father. May this year be a year of amazing blessing for all of us. May this year be the year of the revealing of the truth in the word and in our hearts. May this be the year that all bets are off and everything comes to the surface so that everyone can see, everyone can make a decision, and no one will have an excuse. I love you guys very much. I pray you all stick with me through this year. I Hopefully we'll have some brand new stuff to cover this year. We're still finishing up the book of Jeremiah. we still got a lot to cover in there, but I'm hoping the Lord will lead me to other books. And if we're going to be here this whole year, it would be awesome to be able to get through almost every book possible in the Bible and have it all on video recorded. Because we don't know after we're gone what people are going to have access to. But the one thing we don't ever do is stop reading the Word of God. That would be a mistake. See you guys in the next video.